ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So it's a lot going on. Um, you guys really educated me on some stuff. Um, and I am blown away with just the inf this rabbit hole that I went down the past 24 hours. So the other day I had did a video about Kanye uh, and Kim Kardashian's Balenciaga drama and T.I. also weighing in. Um, let me be honest, child. I felt like T.I. was more mad, like he felt the way because nobody cared about his Gucci boycott. So it was like, oh, let me come out here and kind of, you know, throw it in Kanye's face. Um, but I felt like that was like hit the real reason for him talking out like y'all didn't support me when I was trying to boycott Gucci and now he wants us to boycott Balenci. You know, I, that's the vibe I was getting from T.I. But anyways, um, during that video, I had I said I didn't know what a gimp mask was. I've never even heard the word gimp. The only the only thing I know about gimp, like when I think of gimp, somebody with a gimpy leg. That's like a 90s term. Y'all remember Home Alone when he was like, you know, he he was she was smooching anybody. Mo with the gimpy leg. Like a gimp back in the day was somebody who walked with a limp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know, child. That's what they called him, a gimp. So I didn't know this. There was this whole BDSM gimp culture. I had never heard of this. So people were in the comments telling me the 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 mask that Northwest was wearing was a gimp mask gimp mask and so me and emily got to talking about it she was like yeah it has to do with like sex fetish bdsm and i was really disturbed so now i got to thinking because even when i was watching the the balenciaga show and this is why i say a lot of things unless you're involved in certain things or certain subsets of the culture things are going to go over your head because I remember watching that Balenciaga show this summer, because I remember I had redid the song where I had the models walking off fast to Candy's song, legs and hips and body, yaddy, yaddy. And so everybody was laughing because I added that song to, that, uh, to the girls walking. And so when I seen these women walking around with these masks, they looked really creepy to me, right? I didn't understand the point of the mask. I said, well, hell, you know, I'm getting older. Maybe I'm not, you know, hip. I guess this is what people do nowadays. They walk around in these weird neon colored masks. I had no idea what the masks were for. I had assumed they were like, you know, channeling, you know, channeling aliens or some shit. I really did not know. So even when I was editing that video yesterday and I was using them walking on the Balenciaga show, I had no idea those were sex fetish masks. So again, everything is hidden in plain sight. So now I see people calling out Kim. Like you're not distancing yourself from Balenciaga because you too participate and you allowed nine-year-old Northwest to wear a gimp mask. And so as I got to thinking about it, I was thinking about, I remember how all summer or the summer before, Kanye always had on that black mask. Remember, let me show y'all some pictures of Kanye. Remember, this is how he was looking all through 2020 and 2021. Remember, they were always walking around like this, but I didn't understand why. I, I just, I didn't get it. Remember, this was him at the Donda event. He always was covering his face and it never made sense. I'm like, what is this? I didn't get it. I thought, okay, well, maybe he's starting a new style. Then she started doing the same thing, walking around with this black mask, all black on. And again, I didn't get it. Here he is here with like studs and, you know. So as I'm Googling and I'm like really researching this, this is all BDSM culture. Here goes some more pictures of her. I mean, they walked around like this for like months. And I had no idea 
that they were literally low key promoting sex culture, like this BDSM culture, right? Remember, this was her at the Met Gala. Head to toe, this is all BDSM culture. So again, things hidden in plain sight. You know, I just assumed it was just some type of weird ass high fashion. I wouldn't wear it, but you know, again, I'm not the most high fashionist person either. So, hey. So now I start, cause I don't know a whole lot about BDSM, right? The only, the most I've ever heard about it was whips and chains excite me. Remember, uh, na 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 that Rihanna song, and she was like, you know, it was like a BDSM song where she's talking about whips and chains. So that was like the extent of that I ever known about BDSM, right? There's just certain things I don't, you know, go looking for stuff. I don't go down certain rabbit holes. You know, I figure what makes you nut is your business. What makes me nut is mine, right? So I, I stay out of all that stuff. S and M, thank you, S and M, that song. So I stay out of all that, but I started going down the BDSM rabbit hole. I, I, and now let me say this. I didn't even have to go to Pornhub. Ain't that something? I didn't even have to go to a porn site. Let me show you what I put in and all this BDSM stuff came up. This is why I said stuff be deeper than what you think. Where my Google thing at? I was very curious to see if there were other pictures of Northwest, right? Because I was noticing in, in these pictures, the kids were always around in their BDSM. So like you see them doing backflips, Kanye's here. Um, there's another weird picture of them. Um, you see here, she's holding baby shy. You see all these little kids around them with this whole BDSM nonsense, right? So I go to Google BDSM Northwest because I'm like, okay, let me see if there's like, you know, more fashion of her, right? Because she had on that gimp outfit. Let me see if I can find the gimp outfit that Northwest had on, which just creeped me out because she's such a little girl. But she, I always think she's old. I, I legit thought she was 13. She's only nine. So it's even more creepy to me now. So let me show y'all this. So this is Northwest. Northwest is nine years old, but she legit looks to be about 13. Nothing about her screams nine. I have a nephew who's 10. She does not look like a nine-year-old to me. She looks so much older, but this was the outfit that she was wearing at nine with the big Balenciaga clog sandals child. But this mask, and now that I know what the mask means, that really disturbs my spirit. It, it just really does. You know, I remember seeing this back then, but I didn't. That's a child. Again, I'm not high fashion, so I don't know. I'm like, is this what the kids are doing nowadays? I don't know. I'm going to just stick to just showing my face, you know? So she was out there fashion week. And just, just watch this. Let's see if it plays. Oh, you know what? Y'all might not be able to hear it. Hold on. Let me, uh, I got to pull it up a different way. Give me just, I want y'all to hear this. I forgot I got to present it a different way. Give me just a second here. I got to go through this other tab. Okay. All right. So all these grown adults are cheering for this nine-year-old. They were yelling at me. What were they saying? They were screaming. It was so funny. Oh, I know, right? We should both walk out there next time. Yes. It, I don't know. It's just weird. Did y'all, were y'all able to hear it? Let me, let me look at the comments. Were y'all able to hear that? I want to make sure it played for y'all. Yeah, it was just very strange. You know, with like all these, she's out there dressed in this gimp gear. You know, people are screaming her name like she's a grown woman. And she's like super excited. Like, did you hear them? They're calling my name. And they're like, North, North. That's very strange for a nine-year-old to be so infatuated with people knowing her name and calling her name. 
that should be the last thing on her mind because she has her whole life to live under a bubble, right? Because she's a West Kardashian. So as I got to, to really looking up stuff, so I, so anyways, let me show y'all this. I Googled BDSM Northwest. So I can see were there any other outfits of her in this BDSM fetish gear that everybody's talking about. What was very disturbing is what came up. There's some type of thing in the UK and it's on Twitter. Like I said, I didn't even go to Pornhub. I went to Twitter and there's this company called Bondage Northwest. And that just creeped me out when I, when I heard the name, because I'm just like, really? That is what came up when I put in her name with BDSM, looking to see she had more clothing. And it came up with this Twitter page, and I can't play this. It's very disturbing. I've never seen any of this stuff. I don't get the point. So I click on the video, not even knowing what to expect. I'm like, is this like a kidnapping fetish? I don't get it. I see people's hands tied behind their back. So now, yeah, Twitter is Pornhub solely. You are so right. Because like I said, I didn't have to go to Pornhub. I just put that in the search engine, and that is where it led me. And there's also another Northwest bond fetish bondage site also based out of the UK. So... I play the video and I'm seeing people getting wrapped up in duct tape. Like I'm talking about, I guess like neon colored duct tape, eyes, everything. The only thing open was their mouth. And in one video, the man's thing was just flopping. He was completely taped up, but his thing was. And they were pulling on it and doing all types of weird shit. And I'm just like, what is this? Yeah, I guess I went down some weird kink rabbit hole. This is all on Twitter. And it, it, to me, it's kind of crazy because it's like, we can post truthful stuff. We can post things about C-19 and we're flagged. We're thrown in Twitter jail. Posts are taken down. But there's a man on Twitter right now who's tied up in neon tape with a schlong just flopping in the wind. And people are pulling on it like they're milking the goat. I said, what the hell is this? And it's just on Twitter. So imagine now I'm a grown adult just simply Googling this little girl's name and trying to, you know, see what else comes up under it. So imagine if I'm like a nine-year-old, 10-year-old, and I look up to Northwest and I'm Googling this stuff. This is tied to her name. I was in shock. I mean, Y'all are laughing at me. Like, I'm like, I feel like I. <laughs> y'all are laughing, but I'm legit in shock. I did not even understand this whole subculture was going down. So, I mean, like I said, I'm a researcher. So now I, I want to find out more. So let me show y'all that I found a whole website breaking it down. Um, and the masks, they mean something. So this is why I'm really disturbed that Kim would dress her child in this because these masks, they legit mean something. So let me share this, this uh, thing with y'all here. So this was a site that I found. This person, I, child, I don't even know what's in his mouth. I don't know if it's a whip or I, I don't know. But they were saying here, what is mass BDSM? Most people associate BDSM with dungeons, whips, and punishment. While some aspects of BDSM involve these activities, much more exist in the BDSM community. I guess they got a whole community, child. Uh, they go on to say, it, it, the practice involves varying degrees of sexual play where the partner embodies different roles such as dominant or submissive in pursuit of sexual gratification. Okay, so the mask part, I'm trying to read the part where it talks about the mask. For some in the BDSM community, masks are a fetish, meaning they can get stimulation without using a head mask, while others join mask BDSM to spice up their sex lives. Wearing a mask in role play can inhibit some of your senses, including hearing and sight, leading to increased stimulation of other purposes such as touch. So... 
God, this is just really disturbing. Um, if you watch porn videos with BDSM theme, you probably wondered why the actors wear a mask. Um, uh, while BDSM players usually wear masks in scene play, you can use them as props or accessories. So basically, long story short, all of this is just sexual. All of it is sexual in nature. And I had no idea about this whole thing. So while I'm looking at Kanye like, oh, you know, I guess this is, you know, just what he's wearing, a black mask, okay, black Superman or whatever the hell he's trying to be. They were really promoting this whole BDSM gimp fetish culture. And you can't tell me that they're not. They definitely are. Um, people in these communities have even talked about Kim wearing gimp masks and giving her props for normalizing uh, gimp wear. Um, here goes another article here that I found. Yeah, I was like literally researching all this stuff early today in between my edits, and I was just like blown away. So this is another one. Balenciaga's gimp mask is the glue holding Kimye together. And there they're doing a whole article about her walking around in full gimp gear. This looks just like the people. Um, hold on. See, here goes another website I have found. Uh, hopefully, it ain't, I don't want no nasty popping up, child. Uh, where's them other people at? Oh, God. Okay. This. Looks like Kim Kardashian. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's not even let me switch screens. I hate the fact that I can't switch screens on here. So they're talking about, like, you know, how Kim has been basically, you know, promoting gimp wear. And it has the Balenciaga tag in there. And remember during the Donda event? Remember when he, was, when he locked himself away at the Donda event? He always kept on a mask. Always had on a mask. Even in bed. Here he's wearing the black mask and Chance the Rapper is in there. More gimp stuff. Here she is in some type of gimp dress. I've seen this pink outfit a few times on her. So again, Remember the the lady Loretta, the one that was dragging yesterday? Y'all can write her now. I forgot. I don't forgot her damn name. The one that looked like you know Satan's little helper, um, who was the creative director for Balenciaga, and she had all that satanic stuff, BDSM crazy stuff on her Instagram um, that people were pulling up. So you can't tell me they didn't know. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna call it a gimp dress, child, because it looks like a gimp dress to me. Okay. She just doesn't have a mask at that point. But I just, it just shows that things are just hidden in plain sight. And we're seeing things and we're looking at it from, you know, I'm not in the fashion world like that. When I see it, I'm just thinking, okay, well, it's something Balenciaga done put out there. I'm not walking down the street with that shit on, but to each his own. But to know that it really ties back to a sex fetish and to a, you know, to BDSM subculture is very disturbing, not even for the adults who are promoting it, but the fact that a nine-year-old was wearing that. Because to me, it's like, what are you trying to project, Kim and Kanye? What are you, what, what dog whistles are you sending to the world about your child? I don't, I don't understand in any way where this would be acceptable for a child to walk around with a fetish mask on. There's nothing high fashion about a nine-year-old walking around with something, we just read the article, that means that either she is submissive or she's the dominant in a sexual relationship. That is creepy to think like that of a nine-year-old. So Kim should be ashamed of herself. So when Kanye's ranting and raving and saying that, oh, all these celebrities are controlled, but I'm not, and they're not speaking against Balenciaga, like I said in my video, he was only speaking out because he's been kicked out of those spaces. I'm not saying that Ye is not speaking the truth, but it's very interesting that he's speaking about Balenciaga now when a year ago he was participating in the same fetish culture and normalizing it. Let's keep that real.
You know, I, I don't know. I just found it just really disturbing now that I understand the meaning of it. And again, I'm not knocking anybody who's into BDSM. We all know some of the tea sippers are freaks, honey. Y'all done sat and told all y'all business in the Zoom meetings, okay? But um, so it's not about me judging what grown adults do. So don't think this is what this stream is about. I'm not coming for the BDSM culture. I just didn't know it was to that extent. I didn't know folks was taping themselves up, you know, with nothing but they willy out. I, I didn't know. I wasn't expecting that. Um. And my thing is, so when the tape comes off, don't that shit hurt? Ain't that going to rip off your skin and the hairs on your chest? Well, it ain't my business. Maybe they get off on that too. But again, I'm not here to knock what grown folks do. Because if that's how you get off, that's your business. I'm not fucking you. So it, 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 means, it makes me no difference, right? But I'm bothered when I see a nine-year-old child promoting that wearing that type of mask. Because again, for a lot of regular people like me and a lot of people in the chat who are just as shocked, we didn't know what that meant when we seen Northwest. It looked like a predator mask with the two little horns going back. I don't know. Looked like some Illuminati shit, but I didn't know that it led back to that freaky community. So that that's my issue with it is the dog signals that are being sent. And so, for all these people to be quiet about the BDSM teddy bears that were in that Balenciaga ad, now it makes sense. Like I said, none of this stuff is done on accident because you have people who work on set and their job, they're continuity experts. Their jobs are to go through everything on set to make sure that everything that is placed wherever that is in the camera view is supposed to be there. That is their job. So when something ends up on camera, that is because you want it to be seen. When Northwest is being photographed on camera, that is because they wanted her to be seen. If they didn't want her to be seen, she wouldn't have been there, let alone walking around with a gimp mask. So it's just, it's, it's really just disturbing on a lot of levels. Like I said, um, you know, what grown folks choose to do is your grown business. But when grown folks start involving children in sexual situations, I'm not okay with that. Okay? There's no reason that a child needs to be in an in a ad holding a BDSM teddy bear with whips and, and, you know, leather and all that stuff. It doesn't make sense. And now Balenciaga is trying to pass the buck. So let me go ahead and show y'all their latest here. Give me just a second, uh. Pull up. Because now they're trying to, you know, distance themselves. They're talking about suing. Okay, here it is. Let me, let me show y'all this really quick here. Okay. So Balenciaga is saying this. Balenciaga says North Six, which I find very interesting that the name is North Six, uh, made inexplicable acts and omissions by displaying in an ad court decisions upholding a criminal probation against child pornography. According to the complaint, they're seeking $25 million, and this was filed on Friday in New York State Supreme Court. It alleges that the production house um, Malevent or was malevolent or at least, or at the very least, extraordinarily reckless. Supervising of the ad has led to false association between the company and the repulsive and deeply disturbing subject of the court decision. The Supreme Court's 2008 decision in the United States versus Williams, which affirmed that, which affirmed that the constitution of law bearing the pandering of child pornography was partly visible but not immediately noticeable. In the ad for a black bag, there are three vertical stripes. The campaign was released shortly after Balenciaga apologized for another ad, which isn't subject to this suit, featuring children posting, posing with teddy bears that are dressed in what appears to be bondage gear. So um, I'm not buying this. I think Balenciaga, at this point, they're full of crap. They're trying to shift the buck. They're trying to make it where, okay, don't look over here, but look over here. Um, 
they want to blame this company for putting that particular paperwork on the table. My thing is if strangers on the internet were able to zoom in on said paperwork, Google, and pull up the court case, where was the continuity experts at Balenciaga to do the same? Because again, like I said, anytime you see something on, on film or in a photograph, it is meant to be there. So they are just trying to shift the buck. They're trying to basically shift the blame and make it look like, okay, if we sue these people, we can distance ourselves. But no, no, this is you. You guys approved this and you guys were obviously okay with it and only took it down once they received backlash. They literally wiped damn near the whole Instagram page. I think the other day it was fully wiped. They might've put some stuff back up there, but they took down everything. So if this was so innocent, y'all had no idea then stand in your shit and say, well, we didn't know. We're trying to work it out. Why run to go delete everything? Even the, the creative director, even she ran to make her page private once people got the dig in and taking screenshots of the type of pictures and photographs that she was posting on her page. So I find the whole thing just, just super interesting and disturbing. As of today, because of the backlash that Kim Kardashian is receiving, She's now saying this, Kim Kardashian declined new campaign offer from Balenciaga before breaking silence on the BDSM controversy. So TMZ reports, Kim announced that she is reevaluating her future with Balenciaga, but it appears that she made up her mind declining an offer from the brand and ditching the outfits that she was set to wear at the upcoming, at upcoming events. Sources with direct knowledge of the situation tell us that the design house presented Kim an offer to do the 2023 Balenciaga campaign before the controversial uh, child BDSM ads went live. We're told that those ads went public and Kim made the decision to reject the offer even before releasing a statement on the issue. Oh, that's so sweet. Girl, bye. To me, it doesn't matter if she rejected it because at some point in time, she was complicit by allowing her nine-year-old to walk around in the same fetish gear that they are promoting in the ad. So to me, she's complicit. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.